Welcome back to the It's The Money channel where we give you all the intel you need to establish relationships with the banks and build your credit profile. Today, a bit of breaking news. It would appear as though Wells Fargo is continuing to make dramatic changes that will unfortunately negatively impact its uh, customers. So customers finish last, uh, I guess is the saying that's uh, rapidly being adopted by Wells Fargo, who is now shutting down their personal credit lines. Last year, they shut down their HELOC program or home equity lines of credit and they made massive changes to their uh, auto lending business as well. And now they're within the next 60 days going to be shutting down the personal line of credit. Now this is actually huge news. This is a huge deal, which uh, will of course negatively impact your credit score. And I don't really think they seem to care. You know, they are in uh, fight or flight mode. They are trying to survive. Ever since 2018, when they were caught uh, in the whole fake bank account scandal thing, the government did put massive restrictions on their growth. Uh, they essentially couldn't grow their balance sheet the same way that other competitors could, which has uh, led to huge amounts of losses in comparison to um, their competitors like JP Morgan, Bank of America, etc. cetera. Um, you know, analysts have weighed in on this and looked at the growth of those competitors versus Wells Fargo, and it's in the billions of dollars. Uh, that being said, you know, they needed to, you know, learn a little bit of a lesson. I would say that now, once again, like what all big businesses do is they pass the loss on to you. And I don't think that's right. And I don't think it's uh, very fair either. So these revolving credit lines, which were somewhere between a $3,000 to $100,000 credit line, were pitched as a way to consolidate higher interest credit cards, pay for home renovations, or avoid overdraft fees on linked checking accounts. So I don't really know how they're going to do like the payoff part of it in terms of how long you'll have to pay it off um, before they start again negatively reporting on you. I could uh, imagine it would be pretty substantial uh, for a lot of people right now who are still trying to shake off the hardships of the uh, pandemic. And now on top of that, they now have to come out of pocket to essentially, you know, pay off in full uh, a line of credit and uh, credit close that debt out. Right. So, of course, the not too much deep conversation um, given to us from the CEO or anybody involved in Wells Fargo. Here's the official statement. Wells Fargo recently reviewed its product offers and decided to discontinue offering new personal and portfolio lines of credit and close all existing accounts. According to their FAQ, you cannot, this cannot uh, be reviewed or uh, reversed. Uh, we apologize for the inconvenience this line of credit closure will uh, cause uh, the account closure is final. And they also warn that uh, this may have an impact on your credit score. No, it will have an impact on your credit score. Unfortunately, when you close an account, it has a negative impact on your credit score. But depending on how this all happens with uh, closing these out and how they're gonna close them out, like if you still have a balance, how are they gonna report that, I guess is my question. Those things I don't know. I've never gone through this myself personally, so I don't know. If you've experienced this in the, in the comments, let me know. Uh, below. If you've got something to say about this, let me know. I have, however, been talking badly about Wells Fargo consistently now uh, for the last couple of years. And I hope that if you're still banking with them, this would be the final or one of the final big red flags that it's time to run away from this bank. If it wasn't enough, all the issues they've gone through since 2018, they had huge outages that happened where ATMs couldn't give out money. Um, there were some issues that happened uh, right around the beginning of the pandemic that caused people uh, extreme hardships as well. And here's yet the next thing. So it's like, in my mind, if I was banking with them stills, I'd be thinking about, okay, what are they gonna pull next? Am I gonna be in a place, in a position to pay off that loan and get this closed out, how they're gonna be demanding me to when they decide to make this next change, which could be anything. Maybe it's gonna be credit card limit reductions next. Maybe it's gonna be uh, closing out other uh, mortgage programs that they've got uh, or other facilities that they're offering. Who knows at this point? And those are all things that are gonna negatively affect your credit score. So if you're not already moving away from Wells Fargo, this uh, should be a, a big wake up call for you. And of course, Senator Elizabeth Warren, who uh, is a frequent critic of uh, Wall Street banks, big banks, but yet gets paid by big banks. I don't get it personally. Um, but she doesn't like this. If you combine this with a lot of the sweeping reform that they're trying to establish for not just giving you access to your credit information, also giving you tools to uh, better monitor those and uh, the help that they're trying to provide there. I don't think Wells Fargo is going to get away too well with this. But anyways, customers, nonetheless, customers have been given a 60 day notice that their accounts will be shut down. That is the news for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this, hit the thumbs up. Help us get this circulating in the algorithms so that we can grow our community here. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, be on the lookout, more videos coming soon.